The people wanted art to cover up these bare plywood boards that looked like destruction and something bad. And artists are covering it with the messages of what these actions actually mean. All of this art on the streets is a way to fuel that this matters and it's important and it's not just destruction. It's not bad. We need the change. And it's a beautiful way for the community to reclaim its streets, especially after all the gentrification. There's a role for everyone in all of this. I'm going on day eight of 10 or 12 hours a day, just like receiving paint and handing it out to artists. And so word got out that this could be a place to, you know, paint and participate. Yeah. We've tried real hard to make sure that Oakland artists feel welcome and that this is their space and they can come and share their messages. But ultimately at the end of the day, like this is just a space that people are coming and trying to be a part of something positive. What's going on at nighttime during some of the protests is really important and it's loud and it's messy and it's disorganized, right? But it is a message that needs to be gotten out. People need to scream. And so if that is the front line, we are the back line coming in and helping kind of organize that message and, and putting it into something that's maybe a little bit more enduring. Art can be something where we can share our experiences, um, but also even even send some like positivity to Black people, which is very important. I feel like it's taking back space, especially since this is a way for like business to protect their businesses, and it's like a form of resistance to come out here and paint on them because that wasn't the intention in the beginning. As a Black artist, and even just like knowing other Black artists, sometimes it's difficult to find like to find spaces, resources, all those type of things. And to have us be out here can inspire another black young person to want to become an artist because sadly when it comes to art, you know, whiteness is is centered, so it's important to be out here. The most important thing that I can say is like, you know, if you are a non-black person, just be mindful of how much space you're taking up during this time. Around the world, people are coming together in a way that I've never actually would have dreamed was possible. And to be a part of it, even to do this out here, it seems so many different people from different backgrounds come together uh, just to support, either through painting or donating to the GoFundMe or whatever it is. It's just been, it's been amazing. It's a time for people to listen. For the first time, it actually feels like people are actually listening to what people are dealing with that are black. It's like a time for those voices to be heard, right? And then so to have it be led by those artists and people from the community that look like me, uh, it just brings it home, you know? A lot of people can't even say Black Lives Matter, you know? To put those words into in a sentence when a lot of us can't even understand or say out loud that black lives matter. That's what brought me out here today to be in solidarity with my black brothers and sisters. Together, we in this shit together. This is our home, these are our streets and we're using art as a tool to um, voice that. I helped paint these words. It says, they tried to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. We're the seeds that have bloomed and we're here. The shapes, 
the tones, they, they speak for me. When I don't have the words to say what I feel, these colors become my words.